Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all about workout journals, workout schedule, how to keep track of your workouts in order to progress. I asked on my Instagram the other day if you guys wanted to see this and you all voted yes. All right, so I usually take this entire huge bag gets me kicked out of UFIT all the time, but that's like a whole other story. Um, I have an entire video, you can check it out here, of what I take on my gym bag, but for today's purposes, we're just sticking to my workout journal. This is my old one that I used to have, so I already got through with this one, and I'm about halfway done with this one, and it says you totally got this. I have been working with Alex Bush for about almost six months now. Um, I was working and then I had to stop when I got my back injury because I couldn't do anything. I'm not going to be showing exactly all my workouts because obviously it's not mine to share with you guys. Um, and it's his work and I don't want to, you know, he works hard for it. That's how he makes his living and I don't want any of that to interfere. But I will show you kind of how I put it together and um, what mine looks like. And this is awesome because it helps me keep track of how I should progress. Like, you know how sometimes you go to the gym and you'll be like, I'm gonna do some shoulder presses. And then you're like, mm, I'm just gonna grab 10 pounds because whatever, I don't remember the last time I did. Well, this is when this comes in. Even if I don't have the same workouts, like let's say it's been four, five, six weeks, um, and I don't have the same workout and let's say he sends me again shoulder presses and I could look back and be like Okay, the last time that I did shoulder presses I used 20 pounds So I should start by 20 pounds and if I could do more great and You go from there So it's a great way of keeping track and seeing any of your personal records and I feel like I keep saying that keeping track keeping track keeping track but it honestly is and also you know a day that maybe you can't hit the gym or you are um, on vacation, you could kind of look back and be like, oh look, I can do this workout with what I, the equipment that I have on this gym. So let me try it again and let me see if I can beat myself from the last time that I did it. So this is why this is like amazing. All right, so what I like to do is I separate mine by days. So I've got leg days um, and then like I'll put what gym I did it at and this one was a 5 a.m. workout. Um, every time that it's a new week, I put the week and then like the type of program that I'm in this this month is linear hypertrophy. I'll put the dumbbell hip thrust. I'll put as many. I have four sets of 10, so I'll put them like that. And then right here, I will use the weights that I did. And this is kind of the tempo for it and the rest. So when it's a super set, I do this little thing and then I'll be, and then as you can see, it's 10 seconds, so it's a superset, and then I gotta go. And then after I finish my frog pumps, that's when I rest 60 seconds, and then I do it all over again. That's basically, in a nutshell, how it is. I also put the date. Um, I sometimes write notes to myself, like it was heavy, like there was another day here. Here, I'll put super heavy, or could have gone harder, just to kind of keep track of my, for myself, and like little notes because you're not going to remember every day of your training. So yeah, you're not going to remember every day of your training, so I like to kind of keep little notes, and then I always have a pen with me. And um, as I'm resting, I will just go and write it down. Um, I usually, there's people that like to write it down the day of their workout just to kind of get in the mindset. I usually don't have time. I have such a busy, like crazy, life um unlike some what some people might think that i've got all the time in the world to spend at the gym i really don't so time is very valuable to me so when i hit the gym i'm there to work and not like lose any time so i usually just write everything like one day on sunday night i will write the entire workout for every day my five days of training and then um either the night before um, if I'm working out at 5 a.m. or if I'm working out in the afternoon, like half an hour, an hour before, I will open up and see what I have to do and kind of get my mindset and focus and ready on what it is that I'm doing. Um, my programming changes um, because again, it's based on each individual, just like I do with my clients. It's all individual based. Your, the way your body works, your uh, goals, 
um, so not everyone's gonna be the different in the same. Like maybe I might be in a linear hypertrophy, and so might somebody else. But our program is not gonna be the same because our body and what we need to focus on is completely different. I need to focus on the glutes. I need to raise them. So for that fact, we are hitting glutes three times a, a week this uh, this training phase. So um, usually there is a little break in between. So I'll have like legs one day, then upper body, legs another day, then upper body, and then legs again. Um, so that's just kind of how I do it. Like for instance, for my linear hypertrophy phase, I am doing posterior, which includes anything on the back side of the body. Um, then I am doing upper body, which is back, delts, and arm focused. Then my third day is a leg day, so totally legs. Um, and this is not just posterior, it's posterior and anterior, so it's like the quads, the hamstrings, everything together. Um, my fourth day is back, chest, and arms. And then my fifth day is glutes and delts. So um, I'm hitting my shoulders twice a, a week and my glutes three times a week. Those are my two body parts that are the hardest for me to grow. They're very stubborn do not grow no matter what but I kind of feel like they are a little bit growing just a tad maybe I used to structure it a little bit different back then um, but I found that the way, the way that I'm doing it now is a lot better for me so the way that I used to do it was here is can you see here are the weights that I used and then this was the reps and I don't know why I have oh okay I think this is the weights that I thought I should use or my coach you know pushed me to use this is the reps and this is what I actually used and then ooh, I got CrossFit stuff in here so this is like when I was in the CrossFit phase so I've got like this was whack. This was so whack. Tabata. I used to put when I did yoga. Um, yeah. So isn't it crazy? Like you get to look back and be like, wow, you know? Like sumo deadlift, I used to do 120, 125. Now I'm only doing 95 after my back injury. So you see, that's like kind of where I need to get back at. I also think that my form was not the greatest back then which is why i was probably doing more um because i wasn't properly using my glutes i was using more my upper body and i mean my lower back hence why i got injured um so yeah so it was just it's a fun and good way to be able to see how much you've progressed so yeah guys it's very simple it's very easy you know you got to do what works with you for you this is what works for me um, and always say like little notes to yourself. It's it's your journal. Do whatever the heck you want to it. You know, if you want to say "fuck you, Monica," <laughs> by all means. Um, so yeah, let me know. I'm curious to know how you guys um, write your journal. If you if you keep a journal, your workout journal, or if you're gonna start trying this, I'm I want to know. Leave me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Got a creeper. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one.